We have a giant utility truck. We have an off-road buggy. What do we need now? And what is this? Ooh, oh! This is actually a map of the map. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, this is Scrap Man bringing you another episode of Scrap Mechanic, and today we are back in the futuristic military base, and we have a couple of different things we might do today. I think we might look at some headquarters to add into the middle of our actual fenced-in base over there. We might add some vehicle garages today, and I have an update on this uh, on this craft over here that we used in the last episode. If you didn't see the last episode, go ahead and check that out. That's when we, I think we worked on the helipads, actually, was the main thing. But we also looked at some VTOLs, and uh, this is one of the ones that was kind of a nice fit for the garages. But one of the things I said was that I wish its wings folded out because there wasn't any button on the inside to fold the wings out. But I didn't realize that uh, next to the sensor here, there's actually a little lever. And if you hit the lever, check it out. So much better. So much better. So let's just take a quick, a quick little fly around in the, uh, the new and improved visuals aesthetics on this jet. jet. And when I say new and improved, I mean, I just... Uh, now I actually know how to use it. It's been there the whole time. All right, here we go. Take off in three, two, one. Pew! It's a bumpy, it's a bumpy takeoff strip there. All right, and there we go. Perfect. And now I'm actually realizing that that is terrible placement for. Uh, uh oh, how do I, how do I use this again? I forget how to use this thing. But this is terrible placement. For this uh this antenna right here it is right the tip of it is right at the edge of this runway but oh 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 boy oh okay Ooh, oh my character's head just flew out of the cockpit there all right well we're gonna go ahead and try to uh land this thing back down on the runway here just like you know like a normal plane all right and there we go perfect perfect and then we just taxi our way there we go Okay, so I do want to put a headquarters in that main base. I can see that there's a couple of options that I have to choose from when it comes to headquarters or HQs and things like that. So we're going to explore some of those, but we have to get over there. And the best way to get over there from here is across this bridge. And the best way to get across this bridge is with a land vehicle. And the best way to get a land vehicle is from a vehicle garage. And the best way to get a vehicle garage is by building one here. And I think that you guys have uh, submitted some vehicle garages, so why don't we take a look at what we have at our disposal? All right, so after looking at a few different submissions for the garages, I've settled on this one right here by Bull Ventures. And the reason why I chose this one was because it was very kind of simplistic and sleek looking, and it reminded me, it, it matches the, the kind of feel and shape of the actual aircraft hangars. So I thought that would add like a layer of consistency when it comes to the vehicle garages versus the aircraft hangars. And the size actually seems relatively good. So I have this vehicle spawned in over here. And this is kind of like my ultimate test vehicle because this thing is absolutely huge and heavy. So it's, uh, it's a nice vehicle to kind of test out the limits of what you might be using it with. Like I did that for the bridge and now we're gonna do it for this garage. Now this isn't actually welded to the ground right now. So I know that this is gonna be laggy. But let's just see how does this vehicle, whoop, how does this vehicle fit in here? If I can even maneuver this thing. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and back this thing up. Get ready for the lag. Oh, that's going to be a close call. That's going to be a close call. Oh, this is perfect. This is perfect right here. Check that out. So what we can do is we can have like this huge vehicle in one of the vehicle bays. We can have like a couple of smaller vehicles in the other vehicle bays because we can probably fit multiple ones next to each other. And that way we have some options when traveling from place to place. So now it's just a matter of figuring out where I want to put them and what the layout is going to be. Because this thing is relatively big, relatively long. So it's going to be hard to find a place that they're not going to interfere with like the runways, but they're still going to be easily accessible. I can't really like put them underneath the helipads or anything because there's not enough height. So I'm thinking that the only real option is what about in between the staircases like... Like right here. Like if I was to just do it like right in the middle, like this. How do you think this would feel? Yeah, like check that out. Check that out. So you come out, you get out of your plane over here after parking. And then we could even have one right here. We could actually have it on level 
with uh, this runway here, and we can extend this out to have it level with this, and then we can have like a down ramp that leads onto this bridge. This could work. I think this could work. Let's see how this looks from on top of the helipads. You know what? This isn't bad. It'll be a few blocks higher since we have to level it off with that runway. But I think this is going to work. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to weld these down in their appropriate positions. I think I should probably have them like one block, one block away from these railings here. I think that's kind of where we're at now. All right. So now all I have to do is measure out what is the center going to be on these. Wait, wait, wait. What happened here? Did I make a mistake? No way. Did I make another mistake? <gasps> no. No. Oh, I can't believe I didn't notice this. No. How did that happen? Is that every... Wait. You know what? You know what? I'm just going to have to deal with it. We're just going to have to deal with it. Oh, <laughs> look at this too. Oh, we did not... You know, you know, it's just going to be there. It's just going to be there. No problem. Just, I didn't notice it before. I just, but once you see it, you can't unsee that. You just, you just can't unsee this terribleness. All right. OCD is going to go through the roof on that one. I'm leaving it there. I am leaving it there. You just got to have to deal with it. It's just, I, I'm not going to go through what I went through with these walkways again. All right. So first things first, I have to extend this entire runway. Then we have to measure out where to put the garages so that they're nice and symmetrical and centered. And then we just gotta put the ramp coming off of the runway so we can get onto the bridge. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build this, paint this. I have made it so I can disconnect it here and then I can copy it and paste it and so on. And then we should have this done in a relatively short amount of time. I mean, there's still gonna be a lot of painting involved and stuff, but we'll figure it out. I'll see you on the other side. All right, here we are. I've extended this out quite a bit, so now I'm gonna figure out where is the midpoint in these um, between these walkways, and that way we can weld these things right where they need to be. All right, midpoint has been located. It's right in this little gap there. So now all I want to do is add a one block difference, and then if I weld the bottom of it right there, the bottom center of it right there. Oh, now we have to find the center of this. So I should be able to weld this right here. And this is, I'm, I, I better not have made a mistake because this is to the ground now. This is welded to the ground completely. Oh, I made a mistake. I'm not supposed to weld it to the ground. I was supposed to weld it up here. I was supposed to extend this that way and then weld it. Why am I such an idiot sometimes? So now I have to detach this entire thing from the ground. Do you have any idea how long that's gonna take? All right, that actually wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. That didn't take too long. All right, so now what I actually meant to do was melt, was weld it on par with what this is. So this is one, two, three. So that means one, two, three. We have to weld it right there, and that way it'll line up. There we go. So now the center is actually welded right where it should be, and now this should line up perfectly, I hope. Please line up perfectly. Yes, there we, ooh, ooh, this is laggy. Ooh, this is laggy. I, I just connected, oh no, what I have just done is connected all of those helipads and walkways to the entire runway system. So after I do this, I am definitely disconnecting the garage from the helipads so we have less, uh, less w uniform pieces all welded together here. All right, so now I really have to disconnect these two to minimize any lag. Ooh, it's even freezing just trying to delete these blocks. I've already released the uh, delete button, so He's gotta wait. All right, so now that has successfully been detached, that should save us a little bit of little bit of resources. All right, so now I have the midpoint on this side, and I'm actually going to do this so that I'm going to attach it so that I don't even actually connect it to these helipads like I did before. We're gonna connect it from over here, so I should just be able to extend this out straight, and this should be perfectly in line with where I need to attach the other one in order to line it up one block from there. So now all I have to do is just line this up. All right, so I'm just gonna drag out from here. So this is all just measurement. This is all just measurement technique here just to uh, make sure I got my center. Oh no, what did I do? I attached it again. <laughs> I just let go of the button. So now I'm frozen because now it's reattaching that entire runway to the helipads. And then I'm gonna have to wait again for it to delete. This is what I have to deal with. 
Well, it's my own stupidity, but I still have to deal with my own stupidity <laughs> in this series. And there's just so much lag that comes along with it because of how massive the project is. Yeah, okay. all right, so now I'm deleting it. I've already been deleting it for like 10 seconds. I'm still trying to get this thing up. Oh, there we go, there we go. Okay, so now we know that right here is gonna be our weld point for the center of the, the next vehicle garage. So I can disconnect all this now. There we go, and check it out. Midpoint to midpoint is a success, and now we should be perfectly aligned with this part of the one runway right here. Ooh, ooh, is that, that is so close. I don't like that. I don't, ah, ah. Oh, well, I'll deal with it. It's not, it's not a huge issue, the fact that it kind of overlaps a little bit with that. It's not a huge issue. It's just like more of an annoyance, like just a design, like annoyance. Oh, and there's that bush there. I can delete that bush if I need to. But actually, you know what? That's not, that's not bad. That That's totally tolerable, totally tolerable. All right, let's just go ahead and paint all this up now. All right, and I'm just gonna add like a little mini, just just a couple of steps so that uh, that way anybody walking down from these walkways can just easily walk right up, whoops, onto the vehicle garage platform here. So I'm gonna have to do this on all these sides. All right, so I've mostly finished one side here. So we're right in the middle helipad. So let's say we come off the middle, middle, the middle helipad we go down the stairs, and we have a couple different options. We can take the stairs up into either garage on each side, or maybe we have the handicap option, which doesn't make any sense because you've just gone down stairs. But in case you've, uh, in case you've fallen down these stairs and broken your legs, we now have a handicap option to use this ramp right here uh, to get up onto this runway. So you can see I filled in some of the gaps down here. I haven't done it on the other sides, but uh, we can get to that off camera. So now all I have to do is repeat what I've done here on the other side. And you can see my measurements actually did work out perfectly. We are one block distance from the uh, handrail on either side here. So that separates the whole runway and vehicle garages from the helipads and walkways. That way they don't become too big and complex. So now we're just gonna do the same thing over on this side. So uh, hopefully everything measures up all right. And it, unless anything major happens, then I'm just gonna cut to the finished product over there and then we can see everything as a whole. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I've just spent a lot of time building more stuff. So now we have a ramp going down onto the bridge here. One thing that is kind of annoying about this is this bridge is not perfectly aligned with the runway, but that's just more of a, a logistical issue between the center of the plateau versus where the bridges are. And I don't know, it just, I couldn't do it. I didn't do it. It didn't, it wasn't lined up right. I don't know if it could have been lined up right without making the plateau look off center with the runway. So this is what we got, okay? Deal with it. But now we actually, I actually really like the way that this turned out. The symmetry between the walkway, the garage, the walkway, the garage, and the walkway. So what I'm actually gonna do is take this flyer and we're gonna do an overhead uh, we're gonna do a flyover and see what this thing actually looks like now. I feel like the the garages actually really pulled, whoops, they really pulled this whole thing together because it seems like a lot of empty space without the garages, but now with the garages in, I have a feeling that this thing just looks much, much better. So let's go ahead and just take off here. There we go. Go ahead and turn around. Oh, wow, look at that. I think that looks great. Except for the fact, yeah, except for the fact that the, uh, that the ramp is definitely off center, I think it looks great. You know what we could do? I could actually extend the ramp out to the left a little bit over here so that the ramp itself is centered with the runway, but then you only have to go on the one side in order to get onto the bridge. We could probably do that. You know what? Let's just do that really quick because I feel like... That, well, really quick. When I say really quick, it's going to take a little bit because each one of these little slivers is uh, an individual piece here. All right, here we go. So I've added some more of it. So now let's see what the updated version looks like. Yeah, this is looking... Oh, look at this. This is looking so much better now. These vehicle garages really, really bring it all together. And uh, now with this new length on the ramp over here, that side looks much better. It doesn't line up perfectly with the bridge, but I think it's a lot more tolerable on the eyes. So let's go ahead and uh, land this thing here. We're gonna bring it into our garage and then we're gonna spawn in a couple of vehicles and put them in the garages here. If it can handle this beast, it can handle anything. All right, this is looking good so far, or it's feeling good so far. Let's just go ahead and back this thing in over here. 
Nice. Nice. Very, very nice. All right, we'll go ahead and get out of here. All right, look at that. One garage loaded up. All right, so we got that truck by Saget. So now let's look for a buggy. Ooh, look at this fancy one right here. This is uh, by Kung Wu called Giant Buggy. Oh, that looks nice. Look at that suspension and stuff. Hopefully this isn't going to be too laggy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That feels good. All right. We're going to go ahead and put the buggy over in one of these. Whoops. Over in one of these garage. Did I really... Did I really get stuck? Really, scrap man? All right, we're just gonna back this thing up in here. So now we're gonna have a wide selection, a wide selection of vehicles to get out of these garages. We have a giant utility truck. We have an off-road buggy. What do we need now? I mean, I guess a tank? Why not a tank? We're gonna take a look at this tank right here by Diamond Knight One. This one actually looks really, really futuristic. Oh, the wheels are even cambered. That's interesting. All right, how do we get in? All right, check this tank out. Whoops, whoops. Wait, do we not have any buttons? Wow, this thing doesn't have any buttons. All right, but there's a really cool looking tank. So we're just going to put the tank over here. There we go. All right, look at this. It's looking more and more futuristic by the, by the minute. All right, so we have a truck. We have a buggy. We have a tank. So why not have something kind of in between like a buggy and a truck? We got this uh, off-road car here by Ugly Dangling. And this thing's actually really big. Look at this. How do we get inside? All oh, right, wow. Wow, this thing is really big. Look how big this thing is. This is ridiculous. Oh, it's got four wheel steering too. That's really convenient. All right, we'll just uh, park this thing. Wow, this thing is huge. All right, look at what we got going on now. We got, a, we got our hangar there with the plane in it. We got an awesome like SUV almost there. We got a huge utility truck. Wow, that, that utility truck doesn't look so big anymore compared to that thing. Uh, we got our tank and we got our buggy. So, the, oh, we, this garage is kind of empty, but you know what, we'll uh, we'll keep that empty for now. We'll choose something for there later. We also gotta, we also gotta populate the helipads again. But this is, I think, like we pretty much got this island solved. Oh, we, one of the things I've seen you request is we need some support beams and stuff just to make it look a little bit better, even though we don't need it. So support beams under the runway, support beams under the helipads, things like that. All right, so I'm actually going to get in. I want to try the buggy out a little bit. We're going to get in this buggy over here, and we're going to take the buggy over to the base, and then that's where we're going to put our headquarters. All right, here we go. This buggy, the suspension on this buggy is just awesome. Oh, look at this. It's so fast, too. It's so fast. All right, now we... Woo! gonna turn over here oh wow this door now that we're seeing like the huge scale of some of the things that we're making this door doesn't look so big anymore oh we have our trophy truck in here too i forgot about that thing we can probably put that in one of the garages as well all right so this is where things are gonna get a little bit tricky we're gonna have to figure out where to put our headquarters and how to do this i'm thinking behind this line somewhere in the middle we should put our headquarters so I think out of everything I've seen, this one really stands out. It has a huge satellite dish on top, and I think that would be really cool. You could see, see it peeking over the wall, probably. So let's spawn this in. This is by Fierce Deity Gaming. And it was all, I guess it was a collaboration by Fierce Deity, Deity Gaming, uh, Julink, and Aaron. So Fierce Deity made the bottom. He also has his own YouTube channel, so go check that out, Fierce Deity Gaming. I guess he also made the duck, ta the duck statue with a satellite on top. Julink made the middle part, the, the control room and a library, a mysterious library with something inside. And then Aaron made the top room. All right, so let's build this thing and hope it doesn't lag out my world too hard here. All right, here it is. I've welded it to the ground, but not, I've, I left some gaps so that way we can move it wherever we need to. But just to look at it, I wanted it to be welded. So look at that satellite. Is it moving? I don't know if it, I think it moves, but I don't know if we have to turn it on or something. All right, let's go in here. Check out the duck greeting us in the middle here. All right, we got some switches. Oh, 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 check that out. We turned on the blue lights in there. All right. Look at these fancy, oh, there's some grass underneath the table. This is fancy. This is fancy. We can even sit here. All right, little lounge area, nice little lobby room. Here, let's close this. What's this do? Oh, check it out. We got a fish tank with a swimming fish up here. <laughs> All right, so we have a nice open lobby. This is kind of like a futuristic base. This is kind of like what I imagine. It's just everything's really sleek and kind of just open and a lot of just empty, clean space. 
nice uh, front desk here with a door. All right, so I'm assuming this is an elevator. Oh, yep. I think we can probably press this button too. We go on up to the next floor. Whoa, that was kind of confusing. The wall opens up. Look at that. That's interesting. All right, and look at the... Oh, this is really nice. We have a view all the way around. Except for the front. But the front is where, I guess, the, uh, the, the, the... This is like our security screens and everything. We can see probably what's going on around everywhere. We got some controllers and stuff. And what is this? Ooh, oh! This is actually a map of the map. So we have the Aneri corner, we have the FMB corner, we have the Devorite corner, we have the Arcturi corner, we have the corruption in the middle, and I think just the light green is just all the neutral areas. So this is really cool. All right, so it looks like we have a bookcase here, and they said something about the bookcase before in the description. So I think, all right, we have a switch in the bookcase. Whoa, what is this all about? Oh, because of the green, obviously this probably belongs to the Arcturi, and I think this is actually a secret because, if I remember correctly, the Arcturi is the friendly race, so they're actually allies with the humans. Oh, oh, there's, wait, what? What is that stuff? Oh, there's another switch in here. Oh, wait, no. Is there a switch? Yeah, it looks like there's a switch right here. Oh, there we, oh, check that out! Yeah, so the Arcturi is the friendly race with the humans. So they have a hidden Arcturi symbol or some, I don't know, maybe it's a power thing. I don't know what it is, but it's hidden behind the bookshelf, which is a really, really clever idea. All right, let's go ahead and turn that off. All right, we got some interesting windows and stuff. All right, I think there's another level to this here. So let's get in this elevator. Oh, oh wait, no, this is the elevator that we came up. This is the other elevator. So we go ahead and click on this. So we go up. All right, wait, what? 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 Well, that's interesting. All right. Well, this takes us out over here onto the balcony, a little walkway. And then we can go in here, I presume. Oh, that's cool. Oh, wow. It's actually pretty complex. All right, looks like we have a storage room in here with, what's this? Lights? Ah, oh, yeah, this is lights. We get a little storage room, some uh, some supplies, some boxes, some crates, some food. All right, so then we can go around, go up one more level. And, oh, look, the satellite is actually moving now. That's awesome. Okay, so I don't know if this is the exact position in the base that we want to put this thing, but let's just, let's just take a look from the outside of the base what this thing looks like on the inside because you can actually see over the walls with that thing. So I want to see what it looks like from the outside. So let's go ahead and take a take a run out here. All right, so here's the approach from the hill. So check it out. We actually see the satellite first and then the rest of the base. So look at that satellite. We're actually near where the sniper towers are from our episode way, way back. So I, I really like this HQ. I really like the satellite on top. I think it really kind of hones in that this is the headquarters. This is the future military base, just home area. So let's really quick do an aerial view of what this might look like. All right, check it out. So it doesn't it doesn't take up too much space in there, which is good. We're going to have room for other buildings. I definitely want to do some barracks soon. Got to put some barracks in there. We got to put some other things. Let me know what else should be in the walls of this base. Now, remember, we are going to have an opportunity to go down underground. And down underground is where we're going to have things like the core. We could probably actually build some type of elevator that goes underneath the headquarters. The headquarters probably have access down underground as well. And what else should be underground? I think I made this thing like way too big, but it just leaves a lot of room for more creativity. And then we have this over here and this, wow, this, uh, this plateau I think looks really awesome. I'm really liking the way it looks so far. So let me know what you guys think about this. If there's anything that we should add over here. And then we have this other plateau, which is empty, which I'm thinking there's going to be some, uh, big giant turret on here and some other smaller turrets and maybe some other things as well. So I'm not going to commit yet to the positioning of this uh, headquarters. I'm going to do that probably in a future episode, maybe next episode, maybe one after that. Because uh, next episode, we might look at some alien stuff. I don't know, because I like I don't want to focus everything 
episode after episode in the same area. I want to kind of have some variety. So maybe we'll hop over to the alien areas and look at some more alien creations next week. Let me know what you think about that. What would you like to see next week? Alien stuff, um, headquarters stuff inside the base or that plateau. We have a lot of options. But yeah, I'm really liking how this is coming along so far. Thanks again for everyone who's been submitting their creations and watching the series. This is one of the best series on the channel, and I look forward to seeing where it's going to go from here. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.